How do you even know about that? I know everything in here. You do? Everything about you. Oh. I am inside your head. You are a loser, Eddie. Welcome back to the channel. We got news today that Ryan Stegman and Donny Cates are going to be leaving Venom at issue 200 in April, obviously following up on their big King and Black uh, story arc that's essentially the conclusion of their run. Now, before I get to that, I do want to show you my disgusting finger. Look at that. I had a little burn. You can see uh, it's, it's on my wrist, too, and that thing is nasty. Supposedly, my wife is going to lance it tomorrow, and I'll give updates if, it, if it's worth it, <laughs> if you're interested. Oh, my goodness. I am scared of my own hand. But getting into the actual story here, there was a press release, Donny Cates, Ryan Stegman leaving at issue 200. I guess there was some confusion among some consumers. So Donny Cates went on a Twitter, he, Twitter and he said, seen a lot of confusion about this, so I just wanted to clarify. Yes, Venom 200 will be my last issue writing Venom ever. Thank you for all for supporting us. This has been a lifelong dream come true to tell this story for all of you. Uh, thank you all. Thank you all. More info to come. Ryan Stegman came back. For those of you sad about Venom 200 being the end for me and Donnie Cates, do not worry. We have huge plans to continue working together. It'll all be announced soon. My good friend, Comics by Perch, thinks that Donnie Cates th might be working the fans here, and uh, he might not actually be leaving the title. There might just be a status quo change. He thinks he's being a little too cheeky with his words here, but I'm personally taking Donny Cates and Marvel Comics at face value. I believe that Donny Cates will be leaving Venom at issue 200 to, to move on to a new series. Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman had had a very fruitful run on Venom, obviously starting with the reboot in 2018, I believe, led into the absolute carnage event, which was an absolute smash as far as sales. So probably did, didn't eclipse House of X Powers of 10, which was kind of going on at the same time. But Marvel was raking in the cash at that time due to both of those big events. And then we've also got King and Black going on right now, which seems to be a very big success. Too many tie-ins as far as I'm concerned, but the King and Black story has been good. The Venom 32 tie-in was borderline great. And I believe this is Venom 200 is actually going to be Venom number 36 in April. Cates and Stegman have made a lot of changes to Venom during their time on there. They introduced Dylan, who was thought to be Eddie Brock's son. It turned out the Venom symbiote was codependent on Eddie, was changing his memories to make him more dependent on him. He realized that he had lied about his sister's death, about his brother, and it turned out that that was, in fact, his son. And it turns out his son also has inherited Eddie's codex within him. And we were not sure exactly the power set that Dylan Brock has, but it seems to be quite substantial. Obviously, the cover here in Venom 200 indicates that Venom might end up being the new god of symbiotes once Noel is defeated in the King of Black story arc. Obviously, the other big introduction was Noel himself in issue number three, the new king of the, the king of symbiotes, the symbiote god who is sitting kind of idle on a planet before he is woken up at the end of Absolute Carnage and has now come to Earth and covered it in symbiote goo. The sales prowess of Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman on Venom cannot be understated. This is a title. This is not an A-list character. Obviously, this is associated with Spider-Man, but it's, it, the sales are up there with Spider-Man. The monthly sales of Venom under Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman speak for themselves. Obviously, it only hasn't only been Ryan Stegman art on Venom. Ivan Coelho has filled in as a fill-in artist quite ably. It's been an excellent series. I hate to see Donny Cates go, but what else was Donny Cates really going to do with Venom? He introduced the new God of Symbiotes. He, he, he reintroduced Carnage. We had the big event, which I think should have just been a Vi Venom story arc, but that's neither here nor there. It is a very fun story. They brought Null to Earth and is, you know, I imagine he's going to be defeated. Although we have, have been told that the end of King and Black will be a major status quo change leading into Venom 200. Heavily hinted that possibly Eddie Brock is going to be dead. Who would take over if Eddie Brock were dead? You know, obviously the, the one that's heavily hinted at is Dylan Brock himself, but they wouldn't, it wouldn't be that easy, would it? You think they're going to bring Black, bring back Flash Thompson? We just saw him in Venom 32. That was the last big reveal. Spoiler warning. Hope I didn't ruin that for anybody. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens, but 
Donna Cates has promised that there will be a major status quo change at the end of King of Black as far as Venom. And then apparently he's leaving the series. Unless Perch is right and he's being cheeky, and maybe Venom is not going to be in the Venom series anymore. Maybe he, he won't be writing Venom anymore because Venom's not in Venom. Who knows? That maybe that's what maybe he is he maybe he is working everybody. I don't think so. I think they're done with this. Now, what could Donnie Cates and Ryan Stegman be working on the future? It sounds like they have big plans. This feels, you know, to me like the new Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo for Marvel Comics, a creative duo that liked working together. Donnie Cates writing style as far as you know his takes on horror absolutely melds perfectly with Ryan Stegman's very gothic stylings and uh, he, he's a wonderful artist possibly you know is he the biggest name artist at Marvel Comics right now certainly Donnie Cates is their biggest writer as far as sales and notoriety go right now well what sh what should they work on after this we know that Tanahisi Coates is leaving Black Panther you know well Black Panther is not typically a horror title and I you know I'll agree with you but Black Panther certainly has the the King of the Dead aspect to the character that they played with in the past. I think that would be probably be pretty cool. They wanted to elevate the character as far as sales and stature in Marvel Comics. I think this would be a creative duo that could absolutely do that. Another character that would work for these two would absolutely be Bruce Banner's Hulk. But we already know they have plans for Immortal Hulk after Al Ewing and Joe Bennett leave the title. Apparently, they're going to be continuing it on with one shots with different creative teams and they're not going to have another ongoing for some time me personally i think them doing black panther kind of revisiting the king of the dead stuff would be the way to go just as far as a character that's worth their time and that that probably needs some tlc to get the sales up but of course there are other things out there maybe moon knight would be pretty cool i don't think we have an ongoing with him right now you know hey werewolf by by night is out there right we're exploring more horror elements in Marvel and the MCU. Maybe that's a character that that uh, they would like to to explore with these two. Although I don't, I don't know that even Donny Cates would get that one up into the top, you know, twenty five of sales. I don't know. What do What do you guys think? What is the next big project for Donny Cates and Ryan Stead? Am I missing something? Is there something just blatant that should just slap me right in the face and be like, Wes, what were you thinking? These two guys would be perfect for this. Let me know in the comment section. So that is the big news. Venom 200 will be the end of Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman on Venom. Obviously, they've had the two big big events, Absolute Carnage, King and Black. Venom sales have been absolutely uh, outstanding and reliable during their time on the character. Obviously, Ivan Coelho has also stepped in on art while Stegman was working on the big events. I, I think it's all worked out very well. He's changed it a lot. We're going to have a new status quo moving forward. But that is not the end of Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman as a creative team. Apparently, they have big plans. They are going to be announced relatively shortly, and we, we shall see what it is. But that is the news, folks. Venom 200, the end of Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman on the character. And Donny says he ain't writing Venom again ever. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I would appreciate it very much. It helps us attract more views for the channel. Subscribe for future commentary, comic book news, and reviews. And don't forget to ring the bell for notifications. If you want to talk comics, movies, and much, much more, you can follow me on Twitter at Wes underscore from underscore TC. With that, Salamat Po, and I'm out.